I hope you guys like that new snazzy intro. Anyway, hey guys, it's me, Maddie, and today we are doing a rubber band bracelet tutorial, such as, like, this one. This one is actually a beginner one, so this one should be pretty easy to make. Anyway, I'm sorry, I apologize for missing two weeks of filming, and in announcements, I will upload two more videos today to make up for those two days that I missed. So, anywho, let's just get on with the video. Also, I am going to mention before I start this tutorial that you are going to need a rainbow loom, these kind of rubber bands, and you're going to need a hook, right? A hook. So make sure you have all of those. Now, I am not completely sure how many rubber bands you will need. I believe you will need about like 23 or so. I believe so. Anyway, let's just, let's just start murdering on with this. I'm so happy to do this. Everything today has worked out smoothly. I'm guessing this one either. Is it recording or else I'm just talking to myself? Okay, so remember it's going to look like this. So I have to remember to get my brain fresh tonight. Make sure you have a lot of rubber bands and a clip. A clip that looks a C clip or an S clip like that. Hopefully you guys can see because I can't put that right there. Anyway, so you're not going to make your hook yet. You're going to place your rubber bands. I am going to use yellow, red, and I think I'll use blue. Those are my favorite colors. <laughs> Alright. So first red. See this arrow right here? This red arrow? Man, this is actually kind of harder than I thought it would be. Okay, anyway, so. See that red arrow? What you're going to do is you're going to connect your first rubber band, which is this. The red one is my first rubber band. This pin to this pin. Just like that. Really simple. And then you will do that all the way down here to this pin. Okay? I'll skip right on ahead and do that. Okay, so you do this all the way here, and then you're going to do the middle right here. I'm going to do the middle as yellow, this pin to this pin, this pin to this pin, this pin to this pin, all the way down to this pin, okay? And make sure you push down your rubber bands because you'll be overlapping them. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this blue rubber band from this pin to this pin, this pin to this pin, this pin, and all the way down to this pin, just like we did with the other ones. Now I'm going to jump ahead and do that right now. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to pick another colored rubber band, and I'm going just to pick green. And what you're going to do is you're going to make 10 Luminati triangles. Or... What you're going to actually do is flip this around so that you're not by the red arrow but by the other end. And you're going to connect this pin, this pin, and this pin with this rubber band. So this pin, to this pin, to this pin. And you're going to do that ten times all the way down to here. Okay? I'm going to jump ahead right now and do that. Now the next thing you're going to do, this part gets a little bit complicated. So pay attention closely. Or you could go watch another one. So you're going to need two fingers. <laughs> and you're going to need a rubber band. Focus. No, I'm not going to try. So first you're going to put... A rubber band on one finger, twist it, and put it on this finger. And then you're going to put this side of the rubber band on this finger. Okay, it's called a cat band. Or I call it a figure eight twist. And what you do is you go to this end, you put it on that pin, and then you go to, and then I'll show it one more time. Put it this finger, twist it, go like this, loop this over here like that. Take it off your finger and go to this. Oh, look at the birdies at my window. Go away. Okay, and then you're going to put it at this end. Now we're going to start hooking it. And this one is actually the hardest part to do, so don't even worry about it. And also, I'm going to suggest that you go to a different video for this. So you can start on either one of these columns. I usually start with the red, yellow, and then blue. So you're going to stick your hook. Yeah, stick this. And you're going to put it in this pin. You're going to push back all the rubber bands and grab the red one. Did you see me? How you doing? Buttercup. So you see that? Wait, I don't know. I can't see that. So you're going to go through this part, but you're going to grab this red rubber band. Okay? So. You can't see because of my big fat ugly hands that will go out and butt cheek. So you push back the three rubber bands. And you pick up this red one. And you attach it to this pin. Okay, that's going to be one of the hardest parts. Okay, then you're going to stick it in this pin. You're going to grab this red one. And connect it to this pin. You're going to do that just like this. And I'm not going to sit here and do it because that takes too much time. So, we are going to just jump right ahead. And watch other YouTube videos if you don't get mine, okay? I said just Slizer or Gabby or the Rainbow Room one because they have really good videos. Now, the last thing you're going to do is you're going to loop this one just right on top of that ugly freaking cat band I did. Okay? And then you're going to go back to this one. So, you're going to, instead of grabbing the red one because it's not there anymore, you're going to grab that yellow one. Okay? Not the first yellow one, the last yellow one. So, put it in there. Lift it up, and you're going to connect it to this pin. Like that. 
And this one's actually the easiest one since it's in the middle and it kind of just moves with it. So this one should be pretty easy. And I'm going to show you once more. This, for this one, you don't even have to stick it in the pin. You can just stick it anywhere you want to stick it. Like in your mom's butthole. And you just want to keep moving. Sorry my big hands are in the way. Hashtag thumbnail. It's going to be my thumbnail, bro. Wait, what? My thumbnail. Thumbnail. Ha! <laughs> just kidding. Okay, and then you're just going to do that one once more and stick it on top of that rear driver van. Okay, and back down to this bottom. And what you're going to do is you're going to pass that cat, that yellow cat van and grab the blue one. Oh, yeah, down here's going to look a little bit funky. <laughs> so don't even worry about that because it's kind of supposed to look like that. So same thing as the red one. You stick it in the pin, push the three top rubber bands back. You pick up the last rubber band and you connect it to that pin. You guys didn't even see that. My bad. Push back, pull up, and then just loop it. All the way. Hopefully this is helpful for you guys. If it's not, go watch some other videos. Oh, I'm sorry. Again, my thumbnail is going to be my thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to stick it, your hook in this pin, lift up this blue rubber, ran, rubber band, and connect it to this pin, okay? And then we're done with all that looping. Okay. So this part is kind of hard, I would say. You're going to take a yellow rubber band, or Chelsea, your color doesn't matter. But I'm taking a yellow rubber band, and this part is kind of hard. So you're going to stick your hook inside this pin, but face it towards like the wall of the pin so it doesn't catch onto any of the rubber bands. So you're going to stick in that pin, and you're going to push it out like that, okay? And then you connect this rubber band like that, and you try to pull this. This is going to take a few tries, but you try, try to pull the hook back up to the top without grabbing any other rubber bands. And then like that, it should look like that. And then you push it onto the thickest part of your hook. And then this time you're going to pull it off, okay? Make sure you leave no rubber bands behind because every single one is equally as important. Yep, see, see, don't, don't leave it behind. Wait, yeah, don't leave it behind or else it's going to look jacked. Or Johnny, I guess. Okay, the next thing you're going to do, you're going to pull that cat band, and it's going to look a little bit funky. Pull the cat band back, and I just put it on two of my fingers. Okay? Like that. If you've ever made a rubber band blowing slit without the loom, then this part should be pretty easy. Now you can do it in a pattern or something, but I'm going to just do it as a yellow. So you're going to put one up here. You're going to move this one up here like that, and move this one up here. Wait, this one up here like that too, and push that one down. You're going to do that, and you can keep doing it for the size of your wrist. Six or nine is about like... The normal size, but if you're making this for adult, I would say I use 12 to 15, yeah. But, or you could just try to measure it. And it's really easy just to put the rubber bands back on. I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead because this is already like at, six, like at 16 minutes. And I'm wasting a lot of time. So, yeah. I'm going to just jump ahead. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take, remember this? Yeah, your C-clip. You're going to move this part of the rubber band onto the finger. This finger. Pull it back. So there's an opening right here. And you're going to connect the C-clip like that. Am I screaming inside the speakers or microphone? I'm sorry. You're going to pull it off. Wait, wait, don't, don't go. See, this, this happens. It happens. Quote, gosh. Mama said Jenny was a horse. See, look at how hard this is. This is not beginner anymore. This is intermediate, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so once you've got that rubber band, you're just going to put it back onto the Z-clip like that. And then you could stretch it out to make it look nice and pretty for your boyfriend. Anyway, that's the end of it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nice. Do you guys like my new snazzy intro? Anyway, I hope that wasn't too complicated. Anyway, guys, I really do hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm sorry if you didn't or if it was too complicated. There's plenty of other women out there who are really good at rubber bands, and I am not one of them because I'm not a woman. I am a child. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed my new snazzy intro, and I also hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. How do you spell tutorial? I'm going to have to look that up. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next, actually today, because I'm making two more videos for that last Saturday. Since this video is long, this should count as two, because usually my videos are like eight or six seconds. Anyway, bye guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day. Love y'all. <laughs> Enjoy.